um, the premise of this is, is that this bus, I don't know if you can see that or not, 1995, it's on my bus. It's, uh, got all these holes through the floor. And we're going to do this like this whole house. Bring the camera over this way. Let's, let's look at this now. What you've got is wheelchair mounts. And as you can see, they have these three, four big bolts in them. And what they're doing is when they change out the wheelchair mounts for other wheelchairs, they leave these huge holes right through the floor. I and mean, that goes all the way down to the ground. As you can see, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right here by the driver. Yeah. Coming back to the back of the bus. Wow. Come back over on this side. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. And though so you can't see it, there's one way back here. Seven. Right there. Over on this side, you got one, two, three, four, five, six. right there. And seven over here, that's a 25. And nine over here, that's 34. And my premise is this. If the exhaust system leaks on this bus, and it does, um, and I tested that by putting rags up on the tailpipe and the motor didn't stop, it didn't fall, it didn't drop our can, it just kept running. So all the exhaust gases are leaking out leaks in the exhaust system. If the floor of the bus is a sieve, then there must be there must be uh, what you call uh, poisonous gases coming up here uh, from the exhaust system. Uh, to sort of give you some idea of what I'm talking about, about what's coming up in here, there's a big crack right in the floor right here where they put this line through, and there's a gap, an air gap. And the air that's been coming out of it has dusted this wall. So, uh, short of taking the bus out and uh, doing good dynamic air tests, I think you can pretty well see that the floor of the bus in here is a sieve. So, one, two, three, I got to three. Uh, so, what, what I'm showing you is my bus full of holes. If you can come do a close up on this speedometer here, which is 23306. 85 bucks. This is a relatively new bus. It's only been on the line about two years. That's how many holes there are in the floor of this new bus. Now what we're going to do is we're going to walk the holes in the back of it so you can see that this is not just an isolated case. There's tangerine. Get a shot of tangerine. This is tangerine. These are pit men. Say hi, tangerine. This is your race, right here. You're going to be a star now. On the star? You're going to be a star. All right. All right. <laughs> anyway, this is bus 1995. Okay, and we're just going to, we're going to randomly kind of walk over here to another bus. You can fade on this if you want. Come back to it. Same on this side, same thing over here. Same situation, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six holes back here, and there's 12 back here, and who knows how many up front. Let's go try, try 1991. No holes. No, there, there are holes. But someone taped over them, I guess one of the drivers probably taped over them with duct tape. Same thing, holes. Well now some of these holes are bigger than others. 
basic, basic premise is still that you've got floors that are leaking fumes up. If there's an exhaust leak, an exhaust leak. Now, uh, that's a pretty good example. What I'd like to do is walk over here to 1981. I think I lost shot that. Now, I drove that bus for eight years straight. Straight through, eight years. That's about what I want to 